Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I'll be talking about what I've worked on, and at the end of the video, I'll talk about future plans. These days, I'm enrolling in this VR class, and I've been working on a different game for a month. The goal of this project was to select a target game and try to mimic all the details of that game. I worked on this game with one of my teammates. Um, we ended up choosing this game called The Crew 2. This game was a boat racing game. It had this amazing view and you can actually feel the speed of the boat. So when we divided parts, um, my friend decided to work on boat controls and I took the environment part like the ocean and terrain. The first two weeks I worked on the ocean part and looked into several tutorials which gave me a brief understanding of how mesh creation works and how I can manipulate them. But it just wasn't enough because as I searched for more resources, I found that in order to create a beautiful ocean, there were a lot of things to consider. Things like Fresnel effect, which is an effect whether to make the light reflect or absorb depending on the viewing angle, or Gerstle wave, which is using sine and cosine wave on the y and x axis to create this circular movement. And when that is combined with many other vertices, it will create a wave-like form and caustic effect and so on. So I gave it a try, mixed a couple of methods together, but the result was not good. Something was missing. But when all hope seemed lost, I found Unity's open source project called Boat Attack. The ocean looked amazing. It even had a buoyancy system built into it. So I just yanked the package and there we had a beautiful ocean, easy peasy. After that, I moved on to land generation. Since I tried generating um, mesh already, uh, I thought I could do that with terrain as well. And along the way, I found this guy's godlike coding adventure, talking about everything I wanted. So I started studying his tutorial and ended up with this beautiful low poly island. Meanwhile, my friend worked on controllers and this is what we had for the prototype. But we thought it was kind of boring, so we decided to add some story and new objective for the player. This is Willy, and this is Willy's home, but it is polluted because of people throwing away garbages. So the player will have to help clean Willy's home by collecting the garbage with a hook. And that is how this game got its name, Garbage Collector. After that, we added some UI, uh, sound effect, and finally finished the game. I'm quite proud of the result since it was my teammate's first Unity project, and it is also my first game that I finished from start to the end. I feel bad whenever I think about my first VR game uh, that I developed with my friend because we never saw the end of what we have planned. Anyhow, I learned a lot through that process. Now, future plans. I already started another project, so hopefully, hopefully I'll be uh, starting another devlog series. And quite many of you uh, have sent me mails asking how I achieve making the ragdoll balance a move. Mine is based on Metalcore's example, so if you haven't checked his out, you definitely should. Uh, I, worked, uh, I worked on mine a few months ago, the code is super messy. Uh, I don't like the way how I approached. So I'm going to make a tutorial, but it's going to take time. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.